I'm not gonna lie, yeah? I think I might have to switch up my go-to controller for PC and Xbox still. <laughs> Alright, yes, what's good, people? It's man like Jamo, it? Controller unboxing, test and review things today. We're out here with the Nacon Pro Compact controllers for xbox and pc big shout out to the guys at nacon for sending these down to review now they did provide them to me for free but obviously man is still gonna tell you exactly what it is so let's get these things unboxed and then get them plugged in to the pc and start banging out some games now people them these come in two different camouflage colors i think they come in white and black as well but we're on the camouflage thing and this is the camouflage urban and fam, just, just look at it, fam. It just looks wavy. I love the liquid design they've got on the right analog stick. And I don't know if you guys can see that kind of beehive kind of design, honeycomb design that they've got on the left analog stick. But they both feel hella grippy. I love how the start and select buttons or whatever these buttons are called on Xbox, um, they're massive. They're absolutely massive, nice and easy to press. And they're right next to the analog stick. And the buttons, they're not in the middle here, so that man is going cross-fingered trying to reach them. And you've still got your share button in there as well. Um, all the buttons are feeling nice and clicky. Yeah, 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 no, they're feeling good, fam. And you've got some nice travel on that R2, L2, LB, LT, RT, fam. You can tell that man's coming from PlayStation to Xbox. But just believe me, I know what the buttons are, innit? All right, let's unbox the forest green one. All right, all right, let me put that there for the mise en scene. You got two two little manual in there, but bad man don't read manual. And then the controller comes in this cardboard contraption. That's what man literally has to. What is this? I don't even know what this is. What is this? <laughs> this is all mad. Dash that, dash that. Firm. Look at the controller though. Whew. Whew. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So yeah, you got two colors of their new compact or pro compact controller. You've got the urban color, urban camouflage, and you've got forest camouflage fam. Um, I'm kind of feeling the urban thing because the urban thing is giving me Lewisham. It's giving me Southeast London vibes, isn't it? Whereas this, this is, this is more Kent. This is more countryside, you understand? Anyway, let's get it plugged in to the PC and start banging out some games. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I didn't even show you guys the cable. Three meters of braided cable. So not only will it not tangle, um, you've also got the little connector, the disconnector bit. Where is it? Here it is. So you can easily disconnect. So if you do pull on the cable accidentally, it's not going to damage the cable. That can quickly slip in and out, as you do on most Xbox controllers, fam. And you've got your little logo there on the USB. Yeah, nah, it's looking wavy, man. Looking wavy. All right, now we're going to go play games. <laughs> So one thing that's really cool as well is that this actually comes with its own software so that you can literally map the buttons, map the response curve of the left stick and the right analog stick, um, you know, change the sensitivity of the triggers. So if you're playing a fighting game, you're going to want it less sensitive. Um, if you're racing, you're going to want it more sensitive because, you know, you're going to want to accelerate off slowly kind of thing. So you could do all that kind of stuff um, and, you know, obviously change the vibration and the D-pad kind of thing all through this application which you download from the Windows Store for the controller. Um, that's a lot. That's a lot of customization in a controller this small fam. It's, it's wild. <laughs> yeah guys, I'm not gonna lie. These controllers, they're legit. They're legit. I'm a PC gamer, but I do not like playing on keyboard and mouse at all. Brush that away fam. I am controller all day because I started off as a console gamer and then I moved on to PC for the frame rate, for the 
visual quality for everything that PC gaming is good for, fam. Another thing is that with Xbox controllers, because your PC just recognizes this as an Xbox One controller, it is compatible amongst most games that can use a controller on PC. Whereas if you're using the PlayStation controller, um, there are some games that just don't play well with the PlayStation controller, fam. Whereas this Xbox controller, um, you don't have any of that compatibility issues unless the game is truly, truly old, like before Xbox 360 times and it doesn't use controller in it. Um, it just feels nice, fam. It feels nice to hold this kind of soft touch plastic on the front. Um, as I said, the analogs feel nice and responsive. You can change the sensitivity and the response curve of everything through the, you know, Nacon app. Um, that's wild, fam. That's wild. What would have been cool? Would have been cool if it had some back buttons here and there. Um, you know, I would have expected that considering the amount of customization that this controller has in the first place but what it's got already is definitely legit fam like if you want to customize the ting um and then go to one esports ting um you you can do that on this controller fam it feels nice and what's really good is that once you customize it even though you have to use a computer to customize it it keeps those customization settings when you now go to play with the controller on a console or on whatever else you're playing it on kind of thing, innit? Nah, man, these are wavy little controllers. I like them. I like them. Where's the other one for comparison? Yeah, no, nah, I'm not going to lie. These are my new favorite Xbox PC controllers. They even have an Xbox. It's going to be mainly PC. This is going to be it, fam. I can't wait until Street Fighter 6 comes out. I'm going to be running these, really. Most time, I'm going to be running these.